So you read the title, so you know why we are here. So let's get started and I will explain in this video how you can upgrade the PS5 SSD with a Samsung 980 Pro and um, a heatsink. Yeah, so let's get started. Recently, not quite recently, but PS5 got a firmware update that you can now plug NVMe storage in directly into the PS5 system. So because the thing is that you only have around 800 gigabytes in the PS5, but you can only use around 600, if I'm not wrong. So somewhere around that line, gigabytes of storage in the PS5. So it's definitely a useful when you can actually upgrade your SSD in the PS5 with something like this, but you cannot plug anything you want. So I will quickly put the specification here, probably like the, the requirements that you need to have to plug an SSD, got it? But the important thing is this SSD must at least have 5,500 megabytes per second. That's a lot of speed, but other SSDs won't really work. But this one I got, it's a Samsung 980 Pro. It has a lot of speed as in 7,000 megabytes per second. That's a lot. So this should work. This is a two terabyte version. You can plug up from 256 gigabytes until four terabytes of NVMe. So that, that will be super expensive. But this one, I highly recommend you buy at least two terabytes because if you download games a lot, this will be really helpful. I mean, enough talk. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. So I have the PS5 here, so you can see the logo. But the SSD slot actually is in the other side of this thing. So this is the logo and I turn it around. So this is the disc version you can see. So it's that plate that we have to get out. This is the top side of the PlayStation and this is the back side of the PlayStation. And you have to pull this upwards and while you are pulling it out and then you have to push it downwards. So pull up and press down. So it should come out like this. And this is the SSD slot. So we have the SSD slot here and we have to get this out. So let's do this. So I will turn this around to make it more clear and just push it up and then remove it. This is the place that we should put the SSD. So this is the heatsink. So it has two parts. One is the base that where we put the, the SSD like this. And the other one actually is the, the solid like a metal that which absorbs the heat and it also comes with four different uh, thermal pads so there are two white ones and there are two gray ones so actually i took the, the thin layer out that's why it's pasted here so this is a little bit thick the white one is a little bit thicker and the gray ones are a little bit thinner so you have to find the corresponding one which actually matches your heat sink and also the ssd so i tried it out without removing this safety film and then I found out that the gray ones are actually fitting my SSD. So now what I will do is I will paste this thing on the heatsink and then put the SSD in. So now we have to slide this NVMe drive like this on top of the thermal pad, like this. Make sure the slot for the, the drive actually is outside of this heatsink and also the screw actually has this place. It's also outside of the heatsink. Now what we do is we paste the other thermal pad on top of this one. You can also remove the sticker. I don't know if that's a good thing. And also let me know in the comment section below if actually removing this sticker of the SSD, it's a good thing or not. I don't know. I would like to learn. So then paste it gently on the NVMe drive and yeah, make sure it covers evenly. And just like this and then this is the top heat sink thing like just like a solid metal it's i think aluminium this thing like then you have to gently slide this in on top of this one so it's not going up like this you have to slide this in obviously this will depend on the type of uh, heat sink that you buy so yeah, this specific one just slides in. So we have to just align. There is a kind of a tray kind of a thing here. So it's like a, you can see like here. So I just have to like this and gently slide it in. It's done. So it won't come out because it's you just slide in and there is a lock kind of mechanism. It won't come out, but make sure that you don't see any 
space between the thermal pads and the heat sink. I think we are good. So now we have to install this. So here is actually the slot. So this part of the SSD should go in here. So align this smaller part towards the smaller part of this side and then yeah, make sure that you put it in the correct hole because there are some several pins and the, the port actually is a little bit above. So you put this in here, you put it on the port and then simply push. It's just, just do that and locks in, that's it. And now you have to put the screw in. Fortunately, there is actually a screw given by Sony. They are very thoughtful. So you can see there is a screw here. So I will remove this and use it. Along with the screw, you have a ring kind of a thing like this. So this should go in the screw hole here. So I will place this ring in the, this hole. It should simply slide in and it should fall right into the hole like that. And then you get the screw and then screw it in. Make sure it's properly aligned and just screw this in. And don't push it too hard Otherwise, you'll break the NVMe. And the ring actually is to make sure that you don't actually push too hard. And now you have to cover this again. Slide this in, put it here, get the screw. Screw it again, this one. And that's why you have to make sure your heat sink actually can be put inside this particular bay. Otherwise, you can't close this thing and it's not good. So make sure when you buy a heat sink for the PlayStation 5, it actually can fit inside this one depending on the dimensions. So the one that I chose actually fits in. So if you want to buy that, I will leave a link in the description below so you can help the channel as well. Now we are done. So we have to just slide this in again. So pull it like this, press a little bit from this side and then slide up. And you should hear a click like that. And that's it. We just successfully installed the SSD of the PlayStation 5. Let's try to set this thing up on the PlayStation. Okay, let's turn on the PlayStation. And it automatically have detected, if you can see, it says to use your M2 SSD, you need to format it. And uh, let's format it. And if you don't choose to format it now, you can also later on go and format it later. Yeah, just go to the settings and do it. I mean, for the moment, let's just format. And if you can read, it says the read speed of M2 SSD is as follows. It's actually 5,721 megabytes per second which on the box of the SSD is written as, you can see, 7000 Samsung, you lied. But this speed should be enough because that's above the recommended speed, which was 5500 megabytes per second. Now this is 5700, oh, a little bit more than that. So this should work without a problem. So let's see, go here, it's formatted and blah, blah, blah. And to change where games are stored, go to settings, storage, and installation location. So go here, rebuilding, blah, 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 this typical stuff. And I go to settings, under storage. In the left side, you can see here, M2 SSD storage. Click on this one. And then you can also choose to reformat this. As you can see here because previously if you chose not to format now you can reformat it here and the interesting part here is actually below installation location so you come here and see ps5 and apps i would simply pick m2 ssd storage for ps4 games and apps you can choose where actually you want to install for the moment i will also put it m2 ssd storage because i would like to save some space of my ps5 so that's pretty much it and then you set this thing and you are ready to go and another thing is you go back storage and come to games and apps 
So if you like to move any of these games to your newly installed SSD, you press any of this and say select items to move. So you move this and also I don't know which uh, what not what not for the moment I will not move which uh, also not to Raider. journey let's say because I didn't play it click on move and it asks to move it you say okay and it's moving and it's done it's fast you can press any of these games and move it around so if you go back you go to m2 storage and then in games and apps you will see this journey if you want to move this back to the console storage you click on it again select items to move and you can move this back to the console storage so the the current space is actually here and the target drive is actually here simple right all good well that's it that was quick but got the job done that's what she said well if you like the content give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will also leave some links in the description below where you can buy the ssd and also the heat sink uh, there can be also other links that i will posting so check it out yeah i also about my python course and whatnot you can watch my previous video about it anyway that's about it and i will catch you in the next one stay home stay safe get vaccinated see you